Hello and welcome to my shop. I have to apologize uh, for the late video. Uh, I'm one day late, but uh, we had some visitors over in my guest room. Well, this guest room is actually open for everyone who wants to come around and uh, have some fun down in the shop here with me. Or just to meet some German makers like Manuela and I. Okay, as you might have heard that I lost my part-time job, <coughs> excuse me, um, I had been thinking about of putting up a Patreon page as some of my viewers suggested. Thanks very much for that. And I also wanted to make one piece per day uh, for sale. Well, actually, I looked into that uh, Etsy thing but uh, over here in Germany it's a little bit complicated to go into there and just to sell stuff uh, on your own because you have to go over to some people knowing about the tax and you have to open, uh, uh, well you have to get a company license and all of this and this is far too complicated for me and I don't want to do this. Okay, at the moment I'm putting up my, uh, I'm, I'm fixing my website and uh, I want to get a shop into the website. So there will be exclusively, my, my products will be exclusively on the website or whenever I go around and do this on shows or something like that and I try to sell things over there. I don't know how it works, but uh, it will. Okay, I made uh, the last couple of days, I, I had been into making some uh, brooches and uh, well, they, they are pretty nice and I guess uh, a couple of people want to, uh, want to buy these and there will be um, something like that. Okay, with the other uh, idea of putting up a Patreon page, well, I like the idea. I'm not quite sure at the moment uh, how to put it up and uh, how to get the the rewards and all of that into into it, but uh, I'm working on it, and it will be up in about a week or so, I guess. Okay. With that said, um, telephone. Okay. With that said, um, I want to show you my today's project. Well, okay, there are always some things like a honeydew project you're, you are uh, supposed to do, well, or you are asked to do. And this time, well, as I had my guests over here and everybody loves uh, mashed potatoes, <laughs> I had to, uh, yeah, find this thingy to actually smash the potatoes after they are cooked. <laughs> I don't like this um, blending uh, the, the potatoes as this ends up in like a uh, rubber style stuff and nobody likes it. So I made this thingy here which is very easy. You can also use it for making hamburger patties or uh, something like that. This is finished with um, what is that called in, in, in English now? With mineral oil. <laughs> the first time I finished something with mineral oil. But uh, this is, well, as I want to have something like food safe. Okay, this is beach. And normally the old things uh, made out of beach, rolling pins or something like that, they hadn't been finished at all. So I'm not concerned about anything with this one. So. Enjoy in the next couple of minutes how I made this and consider donating to my channel as there will be some rewards for donating on my channel as well. But I'll uh, release that on my on my web page later on. The link is still down in the description for my old uh, web uh, website and as soon as the new one is up you'll end up with the same link, I hope, yeah, with the same link to the to the page where you can donate to my channel. In order to let this run here, as
as this brings me well on my depression uh, as I as I mentioned sometimes this brings me the relief to to do something you know uh, going down in the shop it's not for earning money it's this this shop here is just for well getting some um, relief from all the stress you have all over the all over the day all over the week and I hope there are a couple of people you know who, who, who think well it's worth well donating some money to me in order I can continue making these uh, videos and also well having you in my shop this is really a joy for me and I don't want to miss that so without further ado let's head over how I make this potato smasher Plank of beach, drill the hole inside uh, over here, and now I go ahead and put it on the worm screw here. I start by chewing up the face and uh, also getting this into real shape. Oh, the center is pretty nice, yeah, it's tight, and I'm using my Oh gosh for this. and now I'm just marking the diameter okay. so this will be the later bottom and make the recess here to hold it in reverse and as this will be the lighter button and I turn it away with um, something on top of my uh, drive center okay so let's turn it around Two millimeters and I go in I try to drill in about well 25 mil I go 25 mils in so I back it up on the on the surface so I'm actually on the surface right now the darling here is to one so I have to drill until 3.5 centimeters okay let's go ahead
okay, this is exactly 25 mil deep. Okay, this gives me a bit room here to turn this piece into the handle. Okay, so this is the bottom and now I shape the connection between the handle and the, and the bottom and the bottom has to go thinner. and I guess I'll get some advice from Manuela on whether this is right or not.
pretty perfect. The handle fits in there very well. A nice piece to mash potatoes. So I glue in the, the handle now and call this piece finished. Now